Good morning, everyone. Um, it is like four o'clock and I'm still sleeping, sleepwalking. And um, yeah, we're getting up early to make some ground before my son wakes up. And yeah, taking the rig for her break in. And we are finally at this beautiful campsite. We are at the promised land. This is the Never Never Creek. I've never been here before and it took us a long time to find this spot. Um, but look at that. Look at all that fresh water. And that's our campsite. Good morning and I'm sorry I didn't get much footage yesterday of us coming in here but this is what, what a beautiful spot just amazing um, the reason why is we had a chaotic afternoon when we got to Port Macquarie I realized the solar wasn't charging our battery that runs our fridge we have all, of, all our food in there um, and also uh, our shower USB charging that kind of stuff so um, we went super cheap uh, I got myself a multimeter and I quickly found out it was the regulator. So the cheap eBay regulator I had on there just, it was brand new, it just died. So luckily for me, Super Cheap had one in stock and uh, I got one fitted in there in the car park and it's all sorted. So it's working, um, the Esky is working and today the plan is to head up to Byron. We are gonna stay a few nights in the city. This is a family trip, not a camping trip with the boys. So. Um, Gonna be, do a bit of half half camping and also staying in the city. And I am gonna film us going back out. I'm not gonna tell you where this location is, um, but do your research, go and explore, and you will find places like this. So, um, yeah, if you watch the whole video, you might know where it is.
we're back on the main road. This is Never Never Creek Road and we're just sitting on the bridge. Look at this beautiful river. Stunning river. We were staying upstream. Hopefully you guys can work out where this is, um, but definitely go out and explore this area. There, there are a lot of um, campsites here, uh, but you're just going to have to find it because it's not on Google Maps. You're just going to have to explore. Anyways, we're off to Byron now uh, and in a couple days we're going to be going to Morden Island. So yeah, see you then. I am at Norworld in Brisbane and unfortunately when I left Sydney I filled up the tank and then drove off with the cap um, and yeah I got some dirt in the tank uh, but I flushed the water out and I'm back here getting myself a cap so thank you so much Norworld in Brisbane thanks for the spare cap and now I'm ready for Morden. isn't too bad but they've just had a lot of rain recently so I've got it down to 18 psi and um, yeah using my long acre really hot we found ourselves a nice little campsite by the water uh, this is in the northwest zone um, CB11 it's one of the smaller ones there there's not much cover but there is cover from the wind um, not very level but I've dug the the front wheels in so that the awning is gonna sit nice and straight and our tents gonna go here so everything else doesn't really matter doesn't matter if we've got that so yeah, I'm going to set up camp now and then I'm hopefully going to do some fishing soon.
We've got Oliver on his throne. Ah, grapes, pouches, crackers. Good morning, guys. We've just packed up and I did wake up a bit early and throw a lure out, uh, but uh, there's a lot of weed and a lot of um, debris hanging around, so not much luck there. But I'm hoping on the so southwestern side of the island there will be a bit more uh, life in the water. Um, just a quick look at this campsite again. There's really not much room for for more than two people, uh, but it is a nice little spot. We had some good cover because last night it did start blowing, um, but we're all good here. Um, we're gonna head on to the southwest side of the island after the Champagne Pools today, cause uh, it is blowing quite a bit and we need some cover. Otherwise it's just gonna be uh, a very noisy night. And yeah, heading to the Champagne Pools now. So yeah, today didn't go to plan. We were meant to be at the Champagne Pools, but the trek was closed uh, because of the recent floods. I think there was a landslide or something, so it was impossible. Um, so we headed on to the gutter bar and it just turns out it was too high of a tide for us to pass. And when we were waiting for the tide to come down, I realized I left my side box open. Uh, so I lost my Milwaukee lantern uh, I lost all my pegs um, and I went back to the place I'd filled up water and I couldn't find it so uh, I reckon either I don't know it's buried somewhere in the sand or someone's nicked it so you know at least I could have lost a lot more but uh, it's just a bummer because um, yeah we spent a lot of time traveling today uh, mainly just driving around also looking for this site um, and also finding uh, the, the lantern. It is a bigger island than I thought so commuting from one side to the other does take quite a bit of time. Um, so yeah this is our campsite um, and tonight we have a Chinese specialty on the menu. This is um, my personal favorite spam egg noodles. Oh yeah. Ooh, yummy. So spam egg and noodles literally the easiest type of cooking you can do. Noodles two minutes, egg however you like it, spam until it's burnt. And the black garlic sauce um, it's really Sorry. important. I'll show you the type of noodle that I like for this. The OG classic uh, in Cantonese they call it chutin yating and this is the black garlic oil tonkatsu sauce. Good morning everyone. We're just chilling out in front of the fire, making some breakfast. Garlic bread this morning. <laughs> Hello. And marshmallows for breakfast. Uh, we're heading back to the main island today. Um, we had a good night's sleep and all of us slept well, which is great. Um, and yeah, to be honest, I'm, I'm a bit over it, but <laughs> only because I lost my torch. Otherwise, um, we have had a good time on Morden. It's just been pretty tiring. Um, so yeah, we're staying the night in Gold Coast at uh, just some hotel and then we're probably gonna head back to Sydney soon. So kind of miss home, but it's it's good. It's good being on holidays. You get to sleep in, spending time with family and um, being out in places like this. Just uh, an update on the esky. This is what our esky usually looks like. Um, cables everywhere. It has not had any charge since yesterday afternoon and we're sitting at 72% and yeah this is what it usually powers my inverter got lights uh, I've just turned them on to show you and just a lot of charging and the fridge it's been running the fridge for six days non-stop haven't had a single issue with it apart from that solar rig that we fixed um, it's been running really well so the plan for today um, we're just gonna take it easy this morning wrap up the camp and then probably head to the gutter bar or maybe Tangaluma for lunch before we head back on the barge. Hopefully we can squeeze in a bit of fishing somewhere. Uh, I haven't done much this trip to be honest and I really wanted to do some more fishing so 
it's interesting the western side of the island is quite actually is quite lifeless there's still a lot of debris around and debris debris and um yeah so anyways i'll see what i can film today but it's probably going to be a bit of a choppy day again so all right see you later So just set up at Cowan Cowan, just gonna pick a lure and maybe just throw a prawn out um, but we're gonna see how it goes. I've got about an hour before we're gonna head to the barge. So yeah. Check it out, little modern flatty. <laughs> I think this one's gonna die. It's got hooks. So we are on the home stretch, the final leg uh, back to Sydney. Uh, it's been about a week we've been on the road for and um, yeah, we stopped off here at Heather Bray Pies and Hungry Jack's for a cheeky burger. Um, but it's been a very interesting experience with this 79. I've learned a lot from this car um, and in terms of camping, I kind of know what I need to do to change some of the setup, but otherwise the car went really well and we did have a good time overall so um yeah can't wait to get home and i'm gonna wrap this video up i hope you enjoyed the adventure and i'll see you in the next adventure <laughs>